In today's video, we're going to look at setting up our clause mail to allow us to receive emails onto our Raspberry Pi without having to log into the web browser. Now, it does have a wizard there, but I'm mostly going to ignore this. But before we get to that, there are a couple of things we need to do online first. And this involves logging into Gmail. Well, for Gmail users, it does anyway. Yahoo and Outlook. For example, you may have to search for your own video, but hopefully this will give you an idea of what you need to do. So anyway, on Gmail, we need to go into settings, see all settings, when it updates, forwarding and pop IMAP, enable IMAP, save changes. So that that, that is one step done. Then we need to go to our Google account, security, and turn on access. Sorry, I should say what that was that we went into. As we scroll down here, it's the less secure apps access. So turn on access and turn on. I might get a ping on my phone to say that I've just had to say that I've adjusted settings. If you have two-step authentication, I'd recommend just logging into your phone or whatever service you use to uh, confirm that you have done that, so as it doesn't cause you problems later. Yes, it was me. Done. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So that is that step done, and you can see there. There's the confirmation of the email that we received. So we'll just close our web browser for now. When I initially came to this, I thought, oh, this is great. It's going to guide me through. But it was a bit out of my league and lack of understanding. No, it's not going to let me do what I wanted to do there. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. There we go. Just need to close that. So, basically, the wizard, I couldn't quite follow it. I was a bit lost, especially with the guides I was finding online. So, basically, I found one that allowed me to get through this side of things, get through the wizard by putting in my name and my email address and then just skipping everything else and then going into configuration instead. So basically I want to create a new account, but I'm going to edit the one that's there by just deleting that. I'm going to configuration, create new account. And then in here we can put what you want in name of account. So we love Raspberry Pi. I'm putting my name again. Remember that we've already deleted the account where this was, so we just need to input this detail again. Now, Gmail uses the IMAP protocol, so we select IMAP, and then we select Auto Configure, and it'll fill in all this information for us. It obviously can't fill in our password because we haven't put it in anywhere yet, so we'll just apply that. So that is that screen now done. Receive. Everything in the first section is fine. Just for the purposes of this video, I'm reducing this. You can put it up. You can reduce it like I have. You can do what you want there. That bit is up to you. But we do need to check get mail. Send. That is fine. That is fine. Compose, templates, privacy. All them we don't shouldn't need to touch. They should all be correct. We need that to be there. We need that to be there, and um, we need that to be checked. Proxy, we don't need to do anything with. Advanced, the only thing with having selected auto configure that we need to do is select IMAP port. Now, remember the email we had in our account online? We've left that there purposely, because when we click apply and OK, we'll just set you as default. There we go, we saw our, all our folders pop in so hopefully there we go in it comes critical security alert 
and what we're going to do for the video capture is here hopefully an email should pop up when we do the following I'm looking at the wrong screen that's why I can't find what I'm looking for compose input are we just going to send it as a blank subject is empty send it anyway yes we'll do that send there we go and there we go on our capture you can see that it has popped up from my main PC which I'm capturing this on the emails have come in now when I first did this I did have problems so what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly edit and delete and I'm going to go through a couple of bits that will hopefully create a similar situation so it'll bring up the menu to do the wizard again the setup wizard but what I'm going to quickly do is go back to Google and set those settings back to the negatives that we did at the start just to hopefully show you that it is not an issue if you have a problem you can always get around it and sort things out so we're going to disable that again and save changes we're going to go to our Google account security so as if you haven't set things up correctly initially but you realize what your mistake is for example you put your password incorrectly you used a lowercase instead of a capital as an example that you can still get around this and problems that are caused so we'll go back to close mail and we'll set up before having done the other online steps but for those of you that now understand where everything needs to go the wizard might be fine for you so let's have a look we'll actually try using the wizard on this occasion it's just I prefer to do it via creating a new account so we'll set it to IMAP auto configure so there we go so we'll move forward from there move forward from there and we'll see if that has set things up so there we go we've got a connection error and that's a beep on my phone just to say that there's been that access again so we'll say yes it was me so we'll just close that and it's asking for password again so I'm just gonna cancel that for now and we're gonna go back online to Gmail we will get there settings <coughs> see all settings I know this is going over what we've already done but the hope is that I'll show you an issue that may occur and a possible way around that and when it comes to then syncing your inboxes so we'll go to security set this to on so we now have the online stuff done after we should have done it to get the accounts working so get mail nothing's happening get mail get mail so what we can try doing is right mouse click check for new folders so we've still got issues so configuration edit account select the one we need to edit edit so we'll have a look at this screen everything seems to be correct here the assumption is our password should be correct so I'll just type that in again to make sure obviously make sure you use your capitals where they're supposed to be your numbers where they're supposed to be so the auto configure setup and it's got the get mail checks for new messages on this account correct as it should have done 
which it didn't on the man on the previous setup when we've just set it up within here compose templates privacy yep that's come up correct yep the selects there are correct proxy advanced so we need to select imap so that has made an adjustment there for us so apply okay we'll just set that as default again even though i think it is selected as default anyway close get mail get mail nothing's happening so we will check for new folders close so we've still got an issue somewhere configuration edit accounts edit advanced no that's fine proxy doesn't matter it's fine they're fine send that seems to be fine receive as I say this is just for my own benefit basic buy ok we'll set you as set as default close let's just make sure there's no pop-up menus anywhere And we will check for new folders it doesn't seem happy so for whatever reason something's gonna miss so we'll try closing it and coming back in and see if that in itself sorts out the problem so check for new folders no it hasn't configuration edit accounts edit advanced the issue is everything seems to be correct so why has this happened the honest answer is i do not know and this is com could be what causes some people great frustration so basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to say we've got the online side of things correct now and that is what needs to be done first and we'll just create a new account again as boring as it is yes we are going through this again it's just to show that things can be fixed because something's gone wrong you can always just try deleting it and doing it step by step again and this can sort it out we all raspberry pa are all there we all love raspberry pi we'll set it as default and yes i'm going through step by step just to show that whatever that issue is why it's being caused i don't know but it is fixable And we'll auto configure it again. Receive. Yes, that's all correct. We'll do that. I don't know why on this wizard that gets checked, yet when you do it from create an account, it doesn't, and you do the auto configure. So, anyway. So, receive. That is now checked. Send. Compose. Templates. Yep, those two correct. And it was only really that we needed to do. So we'll apply, OK. Why? Why? It has messed up and it's caused a problem. But what is the problem? I'm 993 apply okay set its default account close check for new folders close fuck off why why okay we'll try something different we'll close it and then reopen it with it set up configuration edit account edit we'll just make sure that imap is ticked yes it is we all love raspberry pi at gmail.com imap ok 
okay close so we'll send an email to see what happens here so we'll whoops we'll send you send close why So let's have a look and just recheck online and make sure everything online is still correct. So our IMAP is definitely enabled, so that is not the issue. May help if I'd selected the uh, turn on access again, so we'll do that. And that's my phone just asking for confirmation again. Yes, it was me. So hopefully now things should be correct. Yeah, I was just wanting to make sure that the IMAP port 993 was okay because previously when I've had an issue that's kept dropping out for whatever reason. So we'll click get mail. Nothing's come in, so what do we do? Well, we can try sending one. And we'll send that send there we go it's actually working now and we should have it appear here hopefully there we go so why haven't we got our inbox and this is what I was wanting to show check folders it's downloaded the folders and it should hopefully now download email and there we go it has and what we'll just do is the email that came in to me on my personal email we will reply to on my phone and that should hopefully then come in shortly should come in shortly should honestly there we go there it is hello now sorry I've gone about a few things and looked a bit confused what it was was to try and show that issues can occur but you can sort them out and just because we did the setting the IMAP side of things later after we'd uh, set up the account and the security side of it on the less secure apps we've shown that it can still be corrected within the software it then sorted out and sorted in the software because as we saw when we first started the video and we did it and we got it correct first time all this appeared first time straight away after we'd set it up but when we got it wrong it didn't we actually had to manually search for the folders by going check for new folders and bringing in them in there and we've seen that if things aren't right in one place say online it then affects the bra the uh, application itself so hopefully that's answered a few questions for yourselves if you've got any further issues please let me know and I'll have a look and I'll try and replicate the issue or find answers for you but I'll be honest I can't guarantee that at the moment but I will do my best for you okay thank you very much for joining me for another session on our Raspberry Pis take care